Well, by now you've probably seen the video. And you're like, purple people's out. Why talk about these cultural events? What significance does it have? Ah, you're still young and like the karate kid. Well, you need more practice from the sensei to understand the big leagues. See, this goes beyond your perception. You can't really understand it now. But give it time. It'll make perfect sense. You know, in the final analysis, it'll be, oh, I knew that. Likewise. But anyway, there was a video that came out. And it was quite disturbing. And maybe not for the reasons you think I'm going to say it was disturbing. And maybe so. You'll have to wait to the end to figure it out. Well, you've heard of the two individuals in question. Or maybe this is the first time. And you haven't. You know, some people live under a rock. I tend to live under two. But I still find a way to branch out from time to time. And figure out what the current events are. The trends. What all the cool kids are talking about. And well, a cool kid came up to the owl and said, Owl, have you heard the story? And I went, no, please do inform me. See, most of my information comes from little kids. They tell me a lot of things. And I tend to listen. And, well, these kids tend to have a lot of information. They tell all the nitty gritty details. And the story went like this. There was a camera in an elevator. And it showed, well, Quavo, a rapper, and Sweetie, a rapper. And they got into a little altercation. Well, I'm minimizing it. It was a domestic violence assault. So, I guess it was an argument that turned physical. As often, most arguments sadly do between male and females. You know, it goes underreported how much domestic violence actually happens. But I'm a wise old owl. I know the truth. A lot of people don't like the truth. No. It's been so long since they've heard the truth that they don't recognize it anymore. But just remember, it stands out clear from falsehood. Anyway, there's video camera. So you can believe your own eyes. You don't have to believe the owl's eyes. Quavo swung Sweetie and threw her in the elevator, physically assaulting her. Now, that's bad. And you probably were like, that's what captivated you. That's what you were stuck on. But you know, I move on quicker. I'm more insightful. You have to be as an owl. You have to be really insightful. And what I noticed was more problematic than the actual assault. You know what I noticed? The video kept going. And when the elevator got to his final destination, well, Quavo, he got out of the elevator with a suitcase. He had some balloons with him. And, well, Swayde was still on the floor of the elevator. And he put the suitcase in between the door so the door wouldn't close on her. And he stood there and just looked. Did nothing. Didn't offer to help her out. No. He just stood there and waited to someone who was injured by him got back up on their feet. And we're able to limp away. Now, what's the problem with that story? You're going to say it's the assault, right? And you're correct. But the real problem with the story is not just the assault. It's the actions thereafter. You know, 
If you do something bad, you should acknowledge it and be like, well, let me try to fix the bad. Because you can't replay what happens. Once it happens, there's no crying over spilled milk. But you can, well, you can figure out the aftermath and do a better job cleaning up the mess. He didn't do that. Therein lies the bigger problem. We have a huge issue with toxic masculinity. And it's gonna have to be solved soon because it's getting out of hand. And when things have an imbalance, well, mother nature tends to run her course. And so you men, you better watch out. You better not shout. I think the old saying is Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. You know, they say I'm not funny. Who gives a fuck? Some people find me hilarious. Some people find me scary. Some people say I'm Satan. Well, you can have your opinions. Everybody's entitled to them. There's a million and one opinions. I don't give a fuck. Opinions are opinions. But anyway, very troubling. Very troubling that you don't offer a hand when you commit the crime. Very troubling that he didn't offer to help her out. They, of course, broke up. I'm glad. But you know, sometimes... When you've been abused for a long period of time, you just take a, a leave of absence. And you grow accustomed to your abuse. And you invariably might relapse and come back to your abuse, which so many individuals end up doing. You know, it's tragic what happened. But it was caught on tape. And everybody's watched it. Everybody's weighed in with their opinion. So I thought I'd weigh in with my opinion. I thought I'd give the youth some general advice. Well, if you're listening, youth, here's what I do. If you do something bad, make sure that in the aftermath, you try to clean it up. Try to make it look pristine again. You know? You're like, oh boy, I robbed a convenience store. I stole 10 Snickers. I ate five of them. What'd you do with the other five? I gave them to my best friend. You gave five Snickers to your best friend? You stole 10 and you ate five and you gave five to your best friend? Good job. Now you're learning. You're going to be a successful cult leader. You're going to be like the cool kid. You're going to be like the shit when you grow up. Because you stole 10. You ate five and you gave five to your best friend. Sharing is caring. See, if you make a mess, you gotta make it look pristine after the fact. Make it look like there was never any mess. You spill something in the aisle in the grocery store. Don't wait till the cashier comes over. Ask for a mop and clean it up. You break some bottles out of frustration. Go and pick them up. And if you need to let off steam, you can always go to a nearby park and scream. The old adage is, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it make a sound? So nobody's in the park after a certain hour. And if they are in the park after a certain hour and you scream, they might join in the screaming. And the birds might join in the screaming. And it becomes a scream fest, you know? That's what they used to do. Scream. It was a sign of, well, it was a sign of letting off steam. Anyway, it was very problematic what Crapo did. But I wanted to address that and make it a teachable moment. Now you learn from it. If you make a mess, clean it up. Make it look pristine. Nobody ever know that there was a mess because they'll be like, Oh boy, that person made such a mess. But then they cleaned it up. And no mess was there. Amazing. 